guys, Elle here. So I'm back again with my monthly favorites, and this time I have 25 favorites of October. So let's get right into it. Um, but just to let you guys know first, I have no makeup or skincare favorites for October because I'm testing out quite a few products and stuff and I haven't really found favorites favorites so yeah there's no makeup and skincare favorites for the month of October but there's a lot of song favorites so let's get right into the songs that I like so the first song is Crazy Rich Asians by Dan aka Dan featuring Bia Go um, yes the name of the song was inspired by a book um, I love the music video, the aesthetics are so nice, the chorus of the song is catchy and dance rap is as good as always. Um, as Dan said, this track is a commentary about wealth and overconsumption uh, culture, particularly within the East Asian culture, so this is his take on it. Number two is Trauma by Seventeen Hip Hop Team. So after the Seventeen leaders uh, released their track, the hip hop team released their track and it has a groovy room um, production vibe to the song. Um, from the start, I, I just keep thinking I'll hear something like groovy area, something like that. Um, the music video also seems a little trippy but I love it. Um, three is Hello Whaler by Stray Kids. <laughs> Do I pee? I honestly don't understand why you would do this. Why would you put them together? Let them make an amazing track and they have to go through a survival program. Like, seriously? This track is so good. It's like they're ready to debut already. I don't get this whole survival program culture these days. Like, <sighs> number four is Everyone is Beautiful by Sunny Lucas. I actually found him through Instagram. And decided to check out his song. I love the EDM beats in this song and <clears throat> I like the messaging of it. As Sunny said, everyone is beautiful is a message to everybody in the world, letting them know that they shouldn't be insecure or self-conscious about their flaws. Because as Tyler, everyone is beautiful. Um, people shouldn't worry or spend too much time trying to look like everyone else. Every individual is different and unique in their own way, thus it is what makes them special. He wants to be able to relate this song and message with his audience and inform them that they should always listen and trust themselves because true beauty comes from what is natural and what's inside, not superficial. Number five, I'm so gonna butcher this, um, it's Susam Lili Yabe um, by Seventeen performance team. The Korean title literally translates to the dance of the 13 men or Luna Cycle. The music video and the choreography, oh my god, it's so good and the EDM beats just sound so good. It's something really different compared to the usual 17 tracks. Um, number 6 is You Are by GOT7. I love how this music video was shot in Hong Kong for most of it. It shows really different and gorgeous sides of Hong Kong that is normally shown more in TVB shows or Hong Kong movies. Um, and now it's in this music video, it gets exposed to more uh, K-pop fans worldwide because Hong Kong is just so beautiful, I would love to visit that one day. Um, the choreography was so nice and music plus everyone's voices are. It's just so 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 good. Number 7 is uh, I Wonder by Heartfelt, I think is how you pronounce it. Featuring Dynamic Duo's Gecko. So FYI, Heartfelt was Yenny in uh, Wonder Girls if you didn't know. So this is a solo track uh, after Wonder Girls uh, disbanded and I quite like it. It's very refreshing and calming to listen to. Number 8 is 600D by Jasmine Soko. I found this song from the Apple Music New Music Playlist. I believe she's a Singaporean singer-songwriter. I love the beats of this song and also the messaging of it. She said that this song is for people pleasers when they realize the world doesn't crumble at the very moment if they want to say no. It's kind of like a slap in my face because I really like to please people so I guess I can learn not to care if people didn't like me <laughs> ok 
Okay, uh, moving on. Number nine, I can't pronounce the Thai word for this, but uh, it's You and Me by Yen. I don't ever listen to Thai songs. I think this is like probably the only Thai song I have in my playlist. But um, this song came up on my Apple Music New Music playlist and it just sounds so good and soothing that I ended up liking it. Number 10 is uh, Mine by Buzzy. I actually don't know much about this artist, but the song came up on my Apple Music New Music playlist. No, I'm not sponsored. And it's almost like a blend of spoken rap and singing and the beat is really nice, so I like it. Um, number 11 is Pinwheel by Seventeen Walker Team. The music video, oh my god, it's so dreamy and pure aesthetics there and obviously be from the Walker Team. The vocals were so nice and dreamy and of course, I have a soft spot for Woozy always. Number 12 is World Without Tears by Wang Li Hong. Um, Wang Li Hong songs, they love, okay, they seriously love. And it's so soothing and showcases his vocals so nicely. And it's really nice to sing along to, although I won't show you because my Mandarin pronunciation really, really, really sucks. Um, number 13 is Can Be Better by Highlight. I'm really loving songs by Highlight these days. It sounds so happy and upbeat and catchy. Um, the music video for this is super good too. Like it shows the members of Highlight um, going through things that obviously makes for a really bad day. So you kind of feel for that, but you also feel relatable to it. Um, I also really like the messaging of the song. They're saying to not hold on to things that left you. It will someday be a good memory and all the pain, etc. It will pass, so things can be better. Um, number 14 is uh, Shui the Feng So um, by Nick Rail. Nick the Rail. I first heard this song in the store and I kind of scared the sales girl by asking what song was it really, really earnestly. Um, the song is quite tongue in cheek um, since the title is Shui the Feng So, which kind of means handsome until breakup, literally. Basically, he's upset or being dumb, but he's like, it's okay. I'm too handsome until you dumb me, so it's okay, yo. Um, but at the same time, he's sad because it, he's like, I gave you all my love, you threw it all away. It's not a ballad though. Um, it reminds you a little bit of the 2000 songs done by like Simba Plan or Fall Out Boy. It's just that this is in Chinese. Number 15 is Calling by ACE. Um, ACE is back, the new comeback. Um, the music video is super trippy, like all the colors and everything. And I love the beat of the song, it's just so catchy. Number 16 is Hey So Yo Ni De Mei um, by Nick The Real. So it actually means Hey I Need Your Beauty, which is actually quite sweet since he's singing that he's been waiting for the girl hoping that she wouldn't be sad again and he wants to give a beautiful and peaceful world to her and if she's ready for him he won't give up oh, the song is just too sweet and it sounds so good number 17 my queen my queen taylor oh, it's gorgeous by taylor swift i love this song when it was released i couldn't Stop listening to it and I practically knew the lyrics by the fifth time I listened to it. I really can't wait for the full album. I actually pre-ordered it already. I'm so happy. Number 18 is Bu Fang by Nick the Real. So it actually means don't let go. And he's thinking about not wanting to let go of the girl's love. This is actually a song for the drama Love Timeless, which is it. I have yet to watch the drama, but um, it seems interesting and the song is really, really nice. Number 19, ah, this just love. It's Epic High's comeback with We Have Done Something Wonderful. So, Epic High finally did a comeback after 3 years, okay? After 3 years, they made a comeback. I love that they titled their album We Have Done Something Wonderful. And Tablo said on his Twitter that the we included us, the fans, and it's so sweet. Um, I seriously, seriously can't pick a favorite from this album at all because this album is meant to be listened 
as a whole during those daylight drives or rainy days it really suits those moods but if I really really have to pick these are some of the songs I really like um, Home is Far Away featuring Ohyuk Love Story featuring IU No Thanks bracket No Thank You featuring Mino uh, Simon Dominic also known as Simon D and The Quiet um, and, and also Here Comes the Regrets featuring Lee Hee or Lee Hai and lastly, the last one featuring Kim Jong Wan of New. Please do go and check out the full album. It is so beautiful. Number 20 is Dearest by Wang Li Hong. So, Dearest, which means Ting Ai De in Mandarin, is the name of the song. This song is a dedication from Wang Li Hong to his child, and it is so beautiful. The music video also shows a progression of Wang Li Hong with his supposed daughter, like kind of acting out the years. and. Ah, it's just so much tugging at the heartstrings. Number 21 is Cigarette feature, uh, by Ulti featuring Ka the Garden. I have to support Ulti, he's my boy yo. And this track is actually quite mellow but I love it. According to hiphopkr.com, uh, hip um, the lyrics use cigarettes as a metaphor for a relationship that goes bad. Please don't go and check out OT. He not only raps but he has an amazing voice as well. Go and check out his YouTube channel. Number 22 is Become a Gentleman by Carrie Wang of TF Boys. I first heard of this song through the Apple Music New Music playlist and once again I'm not sponsored. Um, and I love the DMB of the track and a fun fact, apparently this song was in the Chinese soundtrack of the Kingsman 2 movie. Number 23 is Missing You by BT, uh, BTOB. Um, I've never really been into BTOB. But this song just gets to you somehow. It's a mellow, but a really good kind of mellow, very easy listening. Number 24. I already told this girl that she's gonna be my October favorite, so here's a shout out to her. It's Miss Electro Heart at number 24. I haven't really featured my favorite YouTubers for a while, so I wanna feature Miss Electro Heart, also known as Ginny. She's part Thai and Australian and she lives in Vienna. She's the sweetest sweetheart ever, like seriously. I first found her channel when I was actually looking for the VDL uh, Pantone uh, review and I just fell in love with her channel. We have recently became friends over Instagram and our DMs, oh my god, it's really 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 long, like seriously. <laughs> She's so sweet, understanding and she deserves it everything good that comes to her. She's also one of the four finalists of the Star Korean K Beauty Gurus contest. Go on and support her and go and congratulate her for being one of the finalists. Uh, all the links are in the description box below and lastly, um, this is a favorite that I have to thank you guys for. I have reached 120 subscribers like I'm actually over that but in the month of October I reached 120 subscribers and I wouldn't have done it without all of you guys you guys i just love like seriously love you guys so 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 much i can't believe this baby channel of mine made it to 120 subscribers every day i'm still in disbelief of that like i just want to thank you guys so much for all of the love and support that you have given me and my channel i really really appreciate it so yeah thank you to all of you and i'm also actually running like a mini giveaway that is until 11 of november so please don't forget to go and join it and that's it for my 25 favorites of october let me know what were your favorites and yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe and also join the giveaway if you will see this before 11 of november and i'll see you guys again in the next video bye